We're getting ready for St. Patrick's Day, and you can enjoy the luck of the Irish in downtown Lexington at Fulcher Irish Imports. Lisa Betts is the owner, and she joins me now from the shop. And you are celebrating your 20th anniversary in Lexington. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. It's a big deal to have a little business that's open 20 years. Yeah. And how did this get started 20 years ago? And, you know, it all started because I was working in the pub next door in McCarthy's and um, I missed home and needed a little bit of home. And uh, one of the guys uh, loaned me some money to start, start it off. He said, what are you going to do? And I said, I'd like to own a shop. And he helped me get the money together. And we started off with sausages and rashers, which are these sausages and rashers we can't get anywhere. These are like what we grew up with at home for an Irish fry mm -hmm. or a British fry up. And, um, and then everything else happened after that. So after 20 years, we've really filled everything up. How did you have to pivot during the pandemic? How has your business changed in the past year? You know, it's changed a lot, but we were, we're better than we were before. So I don't know, it doesn't, it doesn't make any sense. I never thought I'd be making, some days be making more money than the pub next door. Who would have thought of that, right? Um, but we, you know, we've, we started working with my website and my website guy's always telling me, make your website work for you. And finally I understood what he meant. So we started doing um, origin online for curbside pickup. And uh, that's, we just gone from there and, and people are ordering online. They're pulling up outside. We come out with their orders or else they come in. Um, but I also think that people feel, you know, it's okay to come into shops. With, I mean, there's no one in right now. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it can be a little bit quieter and people feel more comfortable and we just stay behind the, the counter. So. And you don't have to be Irish to enjoy the shop. No, what? I mean, no, not at all. It's, it's a cultural experience. I think if people come in, want to bring their kids in to taste like chocolate from Ireland or, you know, uh, we call them potato crisps uh, from Ireland. Uh, it's a cultural thing that you get to take because it's it's all very different. The food is totally different, and um, it's the same food as it would be in England, Ireland, and Scotland. And um, so, and we've got some Kenyan customers that anywhere the um, the English have kind of taken over a little bit. It tends to uh, their food. They're they're influenced by the food a lot. So we've got a lot of people from India, um, Kenya. Like it's not yeah, it's definitely not just Irish. What are some of your favorite items that you have there in the shop right now? So we're getting, it is St. Patrick's Day, but Easter is, is upon us. And um, I'll just tilt the camera up a little bit there. You can see all our different varieties of Easter eggs and there's even more behind me. Um, and that's one right there, a little more close up. So it is like a big Cadbury's Easter egg with a bar of chocolate. And this would be a, an Irish tradition. Um, so people will come in, you know, we've all been living here for years and years and years, but you wanna continue your traditions to your family. And uh, who wouldn't love to get that on Easter morning? Um, and then we sell a lot of flat caps um, for men and ladies, you know, it can be universal. We sell a lot of them. Um, I think we're the only place that sells them in, in Lex. And we import all of, most of our stuff too. So these are all imported. And then we've got a good variety of jewelry. This is just like one little style there. That's the Celtic knot, which means eternity. But we've got like earrings and bracelets. And actually here is a bracelet right here. Um, but as I mentioned before, it was the Irish fry up. And this is like a number one seller here. So you, for an Irish fry, you would have, you know, rashers, sausages. We have black and white pudding, which the black pudding is blood pudding. And we have um, brown soda bread. We also have white soda bread um, and beans and all that good stuff. Oh, and clothing. Oh. Clothing. I should be modeling that right now. <laughs> So how can people experience Fulcha Irish Imports? Well, as I said, our website is now working for us quite well. So you can go to lexirish.com and have a look at, at our product. You can come in. We are open, you know, Monday to Saturday, 10 to 5. And you can follow us on. That's another thing that I really think that people have been doing a lot of is, is Instagram and Facebook. So we, put, we, we just put pictures up there and people call me. I just saw what you posted. I think people are more engaged in social media now than they ever have been. And um, so we've been posting a lot of stuff on social media. Like if we get new items to go, oh, look what just came in. And then people will come and order them, call over the phone. So you can pop in, do curbside or call us. You know, a lot of people just call and chat and we send pictures of what we have. And so, um, you know, you don't get that in big department stores. And what's the number to call and your address? 
Okay, so our phone number is 859-381-1498. Our um, email address is contact at fulcheimports.com. Our website is lexirish.com and our address is 113 South Upper Street. Well, we, thank, we thank you so much for your time. Congratulations on 20 years in the bluegrass. Thank you so much for doing this on us. You know, even though you're here for 20 years, people still don't know you're here. You know what I mean? It's always hard to get the word out. So we appreciate you supporting local businesses. Thank you. Absolutely.